Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Mm, mm, mm. Let me tell y'all something. It just makes you want to whistle. Hold on now. Hold on now. We ain't talking about Brick House. No, 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 no. We're talking about bricks. Okay, hold on. Listen to it. Hello and welcome, Hello and welcome to, my to my channel. Thank, Thank you for being here. here. Bricks, You're welcome. Bricks countries, Brazil, Brazil Russia, India, India, China, China, China and, and South Africa are working, are working to create their, their new currency. Say so so what? Wait, wait, wait. What the? Who the is bricks? Anybody heard of bricks? I ain't heard of no bricks. Ain't no news channel talking about bricks. Ain't no country channel talking about bricks. Ain't no news talk show talking about bricks. I ain't heard no commentary. I ain't heard no late, 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 late night news. No late night commentaries. I ain't even heard no comedy talking about bricks. Who the f is bricks? Ladies and gentlemen, bricks is five nations. And these nations are third world countries. You have Brazil, Russia, India, China. And they didn't even put Africa there. And you even have Saudi Arabia. But see, South Africa, that's the S. Ladies and gentlemen, all of these countries coming together, for what reason? Well, let's talk about it. They're creating their own cryptocurrency. Crypto, not just any currency, a cryptocurrency. Beating the United States to the punch. You remember how the United States and North America, the whole North American continent, the three nations, came up with the Amero? Well, it's too late. Because pay attention. This is no surprise to those of you who have been following the recent news on the stability of the current global reserve currency as the expected decline of its value. This time around, the lead are expected to take India and Russia. India and Russia should take the lead in forming a financial relationship to ultimately create a new common currency, said State Duma Deputy Chairman Alexander Babakov during St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. It has not been announced what currency will become the common denominator. It seems that a decision on whether it will be the Chinese Yuan, Russian Ruble, Indian Rupee, or something. See, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on here? is they agree each one of these countries agree with one thing it don't matter which currency it is it doesn't matter which currency is the number one doesn't matter why well because the way they figure okay literally the way they figure is that if they're all together it works that's what's going on they don't care which currency it is they just care however, what's a never it is. It gots to be funky. Hold on, tell them about how funky it is. Something else has not been made. But with that said, what is clear at this time is that it will be a central bank digital currency. Our goal should be focused on writing new rules in the financial sphere in order to enable the use of an already common currency. It doesn't matter whether it is a digital ruble, a digital rupee, or a digital yuan or something else. But this currency must follow the laws of our respective nations, said Babakov. Nations such as Japan, Brazil, and India have been pro-CBDC. China is also a leader in the CBDC race. It has been advancing its CBDC or digital yuan pilot programs for the past couple of years. What's really important to understand here, and I just really want to emphasize it, is that this will pose a tremendous obstacle to the United States dollar having an opportunity, even an opportunity to maintain its value in the long run. Ladies and gentlemen, now you may have heard the double talk and I, I just have to adjust the volume when I do that, but I just need you guys to understand what's going on here. Some of you are not paying attention. You're not gonna understand the value of the tax credits that you have, the carry forward tax credits. And I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that you haven't understood the value of it, that it's all digital. Pay attention. I'm, I'm sorry you haven't understood the value that it's all digital. That's why I was going to create my own blockchain. Now, see, the platform, Barry, is just a blockchain, and individuals are trading on that blockchain. That's all Barry is, is a blockchain. 
and when I was you heard me doing the video about doing my own blockchain that's exactly what I was getting ready to do so when the dollar being devalued right now and these other currencies being announced and if you notice five days ago let me show you how unique what I just showed you is this stuff five days ago is when things really started to get good with cryptocurrency I mean trading was going on very good not very 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 good see seven days ago ten hours ago two weeks ago five days ago and you know it's because of this that crypto has been going up it is the United States that's been dragging crypto down okay see CNBC the only problem is that was a year ago but I don't see them talking about BRICS how much influence is BRICS wield on the world stage well actually they wield a lot of power because India is the largest populated country in the world so there's more people now at this moment at this time in India than in China they've already surpassed China as far as population that's one thing so you have all of that economic power Yay! it's cheap labor now then you have China coming together oh you got those two nations that's well the reason why they have India and Russia working together is because India and China won't work together you follow me not directly indirectly yes and that's why India and China I mean India and Russia are the two they want to put together all right so now let's go back to talking all of the people in South America all of the countries in South America remember they hold no sway on the world stage but now they will then you have South Africa and now you have all these other countries uh, France Italy all of them wanting to join bricks because they understand how this changes everything doesn't change the new world order it's still the new world order it's just which currency will dominate and whoever comes up with the best bid wins and that's what they're doing it's a bidding war right now the United States just wants to seem to rely on well we've been here the longest and they want to rely on that sorry sorry even Saudi Arabia is joining now wait hold on now don't y'all remember Saudi Arabia the only reason why they get to sell their oil to the United States the way they sell it is because they agreed to sell only in U.S. dollars. Now Saudi Arabia is going to be doing cryptocurrency? Well, no, Saudi Arabia didn't say they were going to sell their oil in cryptocurrency. They just are joining that. Really. So as I explained to you all before, China's, I mean, not China, but uh, Saudi Arabia raising gas prices just so that they could take care of their mega projects well you see there's a lot more to it and this is why the United States just before this happened what did the United States do the United States has known about this for years that these countries were attempting to do this so what did they do they purposely intentionally and deliberately devalued the dollar by creating nine trillion dollars in so-called stimulus and then they raised gas prices so that they can make up for it. And then they left gas prices being raised. They raised gas prices and food prices knowing that it was going to cause inflation. Doing it on purpose. Shame on them, huh? Oh, well. World scene. So, hey, just thought I'd share this information with you. Hopefully you'll get the information, understand the information, and be on about y'all's business. Gotta go, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all take care as y'all sales. Just wanted to talk to y'all about bricks, you know, because I ain't heard nobody talking about it. I ain't heard nobody talking about it. It's now time to talk about it, y'all. Y'all need to talk about it, okay? BRICS, acronym from Goldman Sachs, morphed into a strategic economic block, okay? Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. There you go, BRICS. Oh, she's a brick. Okay, gotta go. Y'all, hey, take care of yourselves. Just remember, don't be a brick. Gotta go.